For the developing story, Jenny Horn's taking a look at Lyft after a pretty big ramp the last couple months. Lyft always finds a manage, uh, manages to find a way to get in its own way. It does. And so we started our day talking about Uber, which now feels like a lifetime ago. Now right. we're looking at, of course, its closest competitor being Lyft, which looks quite different on a year to date basis. But actually, amazingly enough, with the stock up 38 percent this year, that's one of its best. That's actually its best year since data goes back to March of 2019. So wow. this is still a good year for Lyft. All Saved by the Fed. I, I guess so, because gotta I mean, be, right? it's got to be because I feel like the narrative. I mean, as you can see, we've just shot up really over the last like month or two. Yeah. Basically. Like as soon as the market started embracing the speculative stuff, Lyft suddenly is back in the good graces. Right, and I think that's a really good point because none of it has been a fundamental update. Like nothing has changed with Lyft. We've just seen shares soar with the rest of the market. So it's not like things have improved per se. They're just rallying with the broader price activity. But news today, two insiders are selling shares of the company. That's obviously not the what you want to see. Their co-founder, John Zimmer, sold shares worth around $3.5 million on mm. Monday. Well, the company's president sold shares worth around 85,000 according to a filing we had with the SEC. Now again, like despite this drop we are seeing in shares which is pretty substantial when the rest of the market is firmly in green territory. Overall, analysts are a bit mixed on Lyft. Of the overall analysts that look at this name, 18% have a buy or buy equal rating. Compare that to Uber, which is over 96%. So no wonder why we see the analysts favor a name like Uber over Lyft right now. And at the end of October, actually, Moffat Nathanson had a pretty interesting note putting into context some of the underperformance we've seen. They actually downgraded shares to sell, mm, cut their price yeah. target to $7 a share from 10 which is brutal and saying that when it comes to overall raising prices, Lyft is more beholden to this scale, better funded and more profitable peer, that being Uber. Recently, Uber has demonstrated some more patience when it comes to their overall ride sharing prices and take rates domestically, while Lyft has also lost significant market share because they just can't keep up in terms of pricing. Mm. So in November, they, we did see that they continued to post disappointing earnings while Ubers have been stellar. I think that to me matters more than the recent rally. And I, I mean, I appreciate that. We are off, off lows by 92%, but this name I think has lost a lot of attention from investors just given its lack of growth and the fact that it continues to lose out to Uber. Yeah. And I know as a consumer, Lyft is usually more expensive in the wait time on average is 30% longer. Wow, 30%, I didn't know that. That's you significant. Can wait and save. Which I know you're a fan of. I'm always Love too late. Wait and save I don't hack. have time just to wait. Uh, well, you can kind of ballpark how long the wait and save is going to be based on how long the other two waits are, but it's kind of more uh, art than science. Uh, the other I was going to say about the share sales real fast so from the co founder uh, and the president is that according to the Barron's article, they didn't say anything about these being pre planned sales. Usually, if they're pre planned sales, the company will put out like a statement, and they weren't. So, I wonder if there's looking at the stock price and trying to take profit. Thank you, Jenny Horn. Mm -hmm. All right, good update. Lyft breaking down from the rest of the markets rally today. Shares lower by three and a half percent.